Welcome to the Business Reporter's The Future of Financial Technologies and Banking Campaign. I'm Rachel Hicks. An average Londoner taps her debit card for payment 31 times a day. The same consumer may use the PIN code for the card 24 more times. Using our cards, phones, online banking and shopping accounts are as natural to us as drinking water. And still, so many times, the banks fail to make us feel safe or valued. What are the biggest failures and how can the customer change this? We'll talk now to Alexander Weber from N26, the mobile bank, to find out the answers. Hello, Alexander. Hi, Rachel. So, listen, the banks are spoiling us with many things. We can pay online, we can move transactions online, we've got various different abilities to work with banks. Can they spoil us any more? Is there anything more that we wish for? I think the key thing that uh, customers are looking for in a digital product is simplicity. So if you think about it, in the last 10 years, there's been a radical shift in user behavior from offline to online to mobile. So um, to give an example, it would be the music industry. You know, you used to go and buy a record label in a store, then there was iTunes, and now you listen to music on Spotify. And I think it's, it's this shift across many industries that has raised the bar and raised the expectations that customers have of what a user experience looks like today on the smartphone. Banking and financial services has been lagging behind in that regard. Um, and, and we just see that, that banks cannot really fulfill these raised expectations that customers have. So when we recently entered the, the UK market, we uh, figured out that actually two thirds of people that, that were participating in, in, in the survey find money management way too complex. So I think to answer your question, the key thing that customers are looking for is to have one place for, for your financial decisions. If you wish the one app on your home screen where you go to for, for doing your financial decisions. Okay, so what is the biggest obstacle um, in satisfying a customer? I think the biggest challenge in, in satisfying uh, customers is that traditional banks have been very preoccupied by, by the financial crisis and, and the resulting economic focus that they, that they had to have. So in a declining interest rate environment and also with the interchange being, being regulated down for, for card payments, some key revenue streams have, have broken away. And at the same time, a very high cost base derived from IT legacy and an extensive branch network have been very challenging. And therefore, um, it's, it, it's been very difficult to really transform the banks in a way that, that they were able to deliver digital products. So what's N26 doing differently? So N26 has a fundamentally different uh, approach to banking. Um, I think having started roughly four years ago or five years ago, really designing a bank from scratch for the smartphone and for customers who use and will use the bank account over their smartphone has really allowed us to think about every touch point a customer has with the bank and create a delightful experience for the digital age. So if you think about it, um, there are certain touch points such as the bank account opening, which can be done very easily on the smartphone or changing your PIN if you if you've forgot your PIN, um, but also how you organize your money and how you think about and budget your money. Yeah, so I think most of us, or everyone, probably is a different way of doing mental accounting. Everyone has a different way of thinking about how much money am I spending this month on, on which things. And, and it's been very difficult so far um, to really do this in an easy way. And with Spaces, um, actually our latest product, um, you're able to set up sub-accounts, basically with, uh, with one click, and you can, with drag and drop functionality, move money between those spaces. So to really think about what are you currently saving for or what, what's, what's the budget that you have. And, and this was designed together with our customers and therefore we see great pickup. After the first six weeks of the product, for instance, last year, more than 100,000 customers were already using it or 100,000 spaces were already open. So what I'm trying to say is, is by having this different approach to banking, you're able to build a better product, which builds a better brand, and which attracts better talent, which reinforces the product you're delivering. Um, and I think this is really the key difference of the approach that N26 pursues uh, when building the bank the world loves to use. And with the increase in financial services comes stricter regulation. So how do you ensure um, a happy customer mm -hmm while still remaining compliant? So security and trust, of course, are of key 
importance in the industry and therefore also for N26. The intent of regulation is to have the best interest of the customer in mind, which is also the founding principle, one of the founding principles of N26. So I, I don't see this as a, as a contradiction, but I really see also having our own banking license and being fully regulated as a foundation of trust with which we've been able to on top build these products that customers really enjoy and therefore have also been able to operate across across Europe. So as we speak, we're available in, in 24 markets across Europe um, based on this one license that we have um, and we're attracting more than 10,000 customers every day and, and therefore really are now available in, in all large uh, or all, all relevant European markets and also have attracted um, over 500 million US dollars in venture capital from some of the world's most renowned investors who really are believing in, in, in the vision uh, to build a bank the world loves to use and bringing kind of better experience and better prices and more transparency to, to many more customers around the world. So we're in the digital age with your mobile bank. What about the next five years? What's new? What does the future hold? I think um, the bank of the future needs to be needs to be a problem solver, much more than, than it is today. And this, as you said, together with, the, with, with building financial, global financial brands, is what, what, what we see happening in the next, next five years. So concretely for us, that means um, after now having launched in the UK um, in, in November of 2018, we are also going to launch in the, in the US in the first half of, of 2019. And that ultimately is going to be the first stepping stone um, to building a global brand. So in, in the next five years, we hope to be maybe in an additional five to seven markets around the world and really bring a, a much better digital user experience and better prices and more transparency to customers all around the world. Alex Weber from N26, thank you very much. Thank you, Rachel, for having me.